What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of my Manchester United career mode. And this episode will be a little short, but I promise there will be a, another episode today. It will be a double upload day. And in this first game of the episode, we will be playing Crystal Palace at Old Trafford. And there is our lineup with James Wilson starting up top because Falcao is still injured and Van Persie is still injured. But I think Van Persie's injury is only like two more weeks where Falcao is out for three months like Hummels. And going into Crystal Palace's uh, lineup, pretty... Pretty pretty good lineup, to be honest. Like, Wilfred Zaha and Belasi are pretty good, especially Belasi with the five-star skill moves. But coming into the 16th minute, James Wilson had a one-on-one with the goalkeeper and just keep, the goalkeeper was there to save it. Coming into the 35th minute, De Gea makes a good save off Fraser Campbell. And now into the 62nd minute, not really much going on in this game, but James Wilson gets it, dummies the ball, pass... Dan, Scott Dan and gets on the right foot and tries to slide it right into the n- near post, but their goalkeeper was there to match it. But into this ensuing corner kick, Di Maria into v- Wayne Rooney and Speroni is there to save it. DeShilio is coming down the right hand side in the 76th minute, turns his man, gets the ball, triple taps. Into the box, but goes straight wide. But anyways, coming into the 85th minute, this game is going by really quick. Not much really happening in this game. James Wilson just gets by everyone, slots it into the right, to the near post with his weaker foot. James Wilson has just been unbelievable in this career mode. I didn't think he would be this good. But every time I play with him, he gets a goal or he does does something in the game, gets an assist. But in the 88th minute, De Gea is there to save. And as you can see in the bottom right, we went back to balanced. And that game finished 1-1, or 1-0. And we did get a win. And now we are at Emirates in the second game of the episode against Arsenal. But as you can see, this was a huge game because we are tied... With Arsenal on 23 points with 11 games played. And there it is, their team. Pretty good team, but I was looking at going after Murdisacker with the pace of James Wilson, which I did start again because Van Persie is still hurt. But yeah, as you can see, James Wilson is on that right hand side, which I did eventually switch him to the left hand side. But coming in, Giroud with the strength and the pace to just get by Rojo slots it into the left hand corner in the 28th minute and coming into halftime there's nothing happened in this game but I think goals to be honest not much else happened like went on but from kickoff James Wilson just goes by everyone slots it into the left hand corner but from the replay Chesney easily should have (laughs) blocked this but a goal is a goal and Chesney wasn't there to match it so now we can see this replay, maybe, yep, and Chesney should have done a lot better, but into the 50th minute, Monreal gets the ball, whips it into the box, Ozil's there, Wilshire's at the top of the box, but we do save it, we do block it again, and we get it out, coming into the 56th minute, Ramsey gets by Rojo, Ramsey whips it in, and Giroud puts it onto the post. And now coming into the 75th minute, Flamini is down on the right-hand side, passes it back inside to Ozil. Ozil's on the ball, passes it to Sanchez. Yep, Sanchez puts it into the back of the net, past David De Gea. But coming from that, we do get a corner kick right there from Rooney into the 79th minute. And Rooney whips it in, looking for Rojo's head, and he finds Rojo's head. And Rojo gets another corner-headed goal. That's like his third of the season, but that that was game. <laughs> there, nothing else happened. It was kind. It was a really boring game and really boring episode, to be honest. But as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, we are in fourth place 
the only reason we're in fourth place is because of our goal differential at five. We score a lot of goals, but we also concede a lot of goals. So we're in fourth, tied with Liverpool and Arsenal for the second spot. But anyways, guys, that'll be this episode done. And I will see you in the next episode today. See you.